Imagine having an army of tiny, intelligent robots coursing through your bloodstream, repairing damaged cells or even hunting down and eliminating diseases. It sounds like something from a blockbuster movie, right? Well, it's not just fiction anymore, it's the exciting reality of nanobots. Welcome back digital explorers. Today, we're delving into a realm of technological marvels that sound like they're straight out of science fiction but are very much a part of our future, nanobots. These microscopic wonders are reshaping the way we think about medicine, industry, and even daily life. So buckle up, because in this episode of Digital Discoverers, we're shrinking down to the nanoscale to uncover the incredible world of nanobots. Imagine a future where the key to eternal life lies within tiny, intelligent agents coursing through our veins, nanobots. According to futurists like Ray Kurzweil, a renowned inventor, and Google's futurist, these microscopic marvels might be our ticket to preventing death. In a conversation with Neil deGrasse Tyson, Kurzweil painted a vivid picture of a world where nanobots, small enough to operate on a molecular level, become our internal guardians. In Kurzweil's vision for 2030, these nanobots act as vigilant sentinels, patrolling our biological systems to repair, protect, and extend our lives. They would navigate through our bloodstream, addressing potential health issues before they became noticeable. The idea is not just to prolong life but to ensure a good and healthy one. As we peer into the future, the prospect of nanobots transforming our longevity is closer than we may think. The implications are profound, sparking discussions about ethical considerations, societal impacts, and fundamental shifts in our understanding of life and mortality. The journey toward a future where nanobots safeguard our existence is an exciting exploration into the convergence of technology and the very essence of what it means to be alive. These miniature robots made of DNA navigate through your bloodstream on a mission to seek out and destroy cancer cells. It's the cutting-edge reality of DNA robots, already being tested in animals. IFL Science reports that these programmed strands of DNA are like microscopic superheroes, moving through our veins with the precision of a surgeon. These DNA robots can inject blood-clotting drugs into blood vessels around tumors, essentially cutting off their life supply. It's a groundbreaking approach that, if successful in human trials, could revolutionize cancer treatment and cell research. But the potential of these tiny warriors doesn't stop there. Imagine a future where nanobots are crucial in delivering drugs to humans with unprecedented accuracy. Researchers believe that these minuscule marvels could administer microdoses precisely where they're needed, minimizing harmful side effects. Of course, hurdles remain on this path to medical innovation, but the promise is immense. Nanobots represent a leap forward in the precision and efficiency of drug delivery, potentially transforming how we approach not only cancer treatment but various medical interventions. The future of medicine might just be smaller than we ever imagined, with DNA robots paving the way for targeted, effective, and minimally invasive treatments. As we navigate this frontier, the intersection of biology and technology opens doors to a new era in healthcare. Scientists at the Weiss Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering and the Department of Genetics at Harvard Medical School are exploring the potential of nanobots to address various health issues. They believe that these tiny robots could play a role in reducing plaque in veins, addressing dietary issues, and serving a range of medical purposes. The researchers published a study in ScienceMag, detailing their work. The scientists tested nanorobots loaded with combinations of antibody fragments in tissue cultures to stimulate cell signaling. They see this as a proof of principle and suggest that future nanobot designs could have different selectivities and carry biologically active substances for specific tasks like targeting cells. Looking ahead, the researchers envision a scenario where nanobots continuously monitor our bodies for signs of illness and transmit this information to a cloud for close monitoring by medical professionals. This could potentially turn common ailments, such as the cold, into easily manageable issues. In essence, nanobots could offer a revolutionary approach to healthcare by providing real-time information about our health and enabling prompt interventions. The notion that nanobots could transmit our thoughts to the cloud seems like a futuristic concept and, admittedly, one of the more ambitious ideas among the proposed applications of nanobots. Achieving such a capability would demand significant advancements in both neuroscience and nanorobotics. 
Moreover, it would require widespread societal acceptance of giving entities like Google direct access to our thoughts. While it remains a possibility, the realization of this functionality is likely a distant prospect. Now, taking a step back to understand the basics, let's delve into what nanotechnology entails. Nanotechnology is not just a concept for science fiction villains, it is a rapidly advancing field that combines engineering and science. At its core, nanotechnology involves working with materials and devices at the nanoscale, where dimensions are typically measured in nanometers. This scale ranges from 0.1 to 10 micrometers and involves the manipulation and utilization of nanoscale or molecular components. Nanorobotics, a subset of nanotechnology, is an emerging field dedicated to designing and constructing robots with components that operate on the scale of a nanometer. This field holds great promise for various applications, including medical uses like targeted drug delivery and the potential scenarios discussed earlier, such as plaque reduction in veins and dietary issue resolution. While more speculative ideas may be on the horizon, the core principles of nanotechnology and nanorobotics are already paving the way for transformative advancements in science and technology. Nanotechnology's origins can be traced back to Nobel laureate Richard Feynman's seminal 1959 lecture, There's Plenty of Room at the Bottom, presented at a gathering of physicists at Caltech. Often hailed as the father of nanotechnology, Feynman envisioned a theoretical process enabling the manipulation of individual atoms or molecules, laying the conceptual foundation for nanoscience. Practical realization emerged with the advent of advanced microscopes, particularly the 1981 development of scanning tunneling microscopes, offering unprecedented precision. These instruments allowed the visualization of individual atoms, validating Feynman's ideas and providing tangible evidence for the potential of nanotechnology, marking a pivotal advancement in the field's evolution. While nanotechnology holds immense promise for the future, significant challenges lie ahead before the practical use of nanorobots becomes a reality. Researchers anticipate around a decade of further development to overcome these obstacles, particularly in the context of using nanobots for surgical procedures. However, concerns linger about the cost-effectiveness of nanorobotics, as robot-assisted surgery is already more expensive than traditional methods. Despite these challenges, futurist Ray Kurzweil envisions a transformative future where medical nanorobots enhance our immune systems, enter the brain for virtual and augmented reality, and eventually connect our neocortex to synthetic counterparts in the cloud. From revolutionizing medicine to transforming industries, these tiny titans are paving the way for a future that once seemed impossible. As we continue our journey into the digital frontier, one can't help but wonder, what other marvels await us in the realm of technology? Stay curious, stay digital, and until next time, keep discovering the wonders that await in our ever-evolving digital landscape. This is Digital Discoverers, signing off.